So we get there, and Aunt Claire kind of blows us off, and we go off on our own adventure. Um, and Zach, feeling kind of bad for his brother, he gets the brilliant idea to go, instead of going back to the base, as he's supposed to, in the gyrosphere, he goes off on his own uh, little path off the beaten trail. And then everything gets set into motion. This park is now such a machine, like it is a corporation, this Jurassic World brand, and they've had no problems for years, but now visitorship is starting to decline because people get bored so quickly. Like they just, you know, oh, I've seen a T-Rex, I've seen the Triceratops, I don't want to see this anymore, and so they're trying to come up with new ideas, and that's their ultimate, um, that's where things start to go wrong. Chris is like, he's, he's a great guy. He just come in with like a, with just the best energy you can possibly hope for. And he's there, he's there with you. He's, he's meeting everybody. He's having fun. Gray and I end up going off the beaten path. We go on our, on our gyrosphere run. And we end up in the middle of um, a herd of ankylosauruses all grazing peacefully. And then we run face to face with, um, the Indominus Rex, and uh, we actually kind of get thrown into the middle of these two. They're like circling each other, and we're right in the middle of this like epic battle that's about to go down. Um, and so the Indominus ends up taking out the um, Ankylosaurus, and it comes back and faces us, and it's like smashing our gyrosphere on the ground, and we make a run for it. And then there's a scene where we're running down this big open field and out of the tree line behind us, the uh, Indominus Rex bursts out and is running after us. I think that was, I, I can just picture it in my head and it already is really cool. It's freaking me out.